Welcome back to yet another devlog about my game, Pirates Inc, a game all about making the biggest pirate corporation in the world. Today, Sorry. I want to get to work yeah. on... Excuse me? No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on a second. What do you want, kid? Uh, hi, hi, hi there, mister. Wanna play this little game I made and tell, uh, tell me what you think about it? Uh, yeah, well, sure, sure. Give it here. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, uh, the game is incredibly unoriginal, it's poorly executed, and worst of all, boring, the music is generic and uninspiring, and the sound effects are weak. Most of the game is made up of just bad pixel that needs a lot of work and has no color consistency whatsoever. I'm not saying I'm a good game developer, but as a consumer, I'd be screaming for a refund even if the game was free. If you want to improve it, I recommend you delete the whole project file and the idea from your head and start from scratch. If you want to be a good game developer, you gotta always be open to changes. Lots and lots of changes. If your game isn't fun, no matter how long it took you to make it, no matter how proud of, you, of the idea you are, if you want to sell it, you have to either redo it or scrap it. It's a tough thing to accept sometimes, especially if you're new to this whole thing, but you just have to do it for your sake. Totally unrelated to that, by the way, the whole current version of the hijacking gameplay in the game uh, sucks. Big time. So I'm gonna go to my game design cave and uh, come up with an idea for a fix. I mean, I gotta get there somehow. Okay, so here we are, in my evil game design lab where I design all my games and all my plans to conquer the world through the medium of mediocre YouTube devlogs. Uh, anyway, let me tell you what my two very productive brain cells had in store for the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the ship designer. I've devised a brilliant system that lets you customize your ship and the contents of it to the littlest detail, as long as that, that detail isn't more than a pre-made non-customizable hull and a few pirates with guns. But hey, I'll add more of everything when I get to that part of development, which, come to think of it, might be somewhere around 2050 if I continue like this. Also remember how this game was supposed to be about the pirate stock market and how the whole goal was not to get bought out by some big mean company? If you don't know, that's probably because you are not subscribed, in which case you should like and subscribe and comment right now because I have hypnotized you into doing everything I tell you to. Um, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, this game is supposed to be about buying other companies and all that. I already said that, yeah. Uh, the problem is that none of that was in the game previously, but now this whole thing with the ship designer gave me an idea. I'll tell you about later. Uh, now I have to actually make that ship designer work and save and load what you build. So um, let's get to that. All right, now all of that works and I did it all by myself too. <laughs> uh, um, Matt, you're an idiot. You forgot that all these pirates are just cosmetic on the ship. Every pirate is just extra health, you know that? You, you made it. Who cares what guns they have? Actually, no, cameraman, Matt. I was about to get to that and explain it. I, I've been working on all of this for weeks. You think I'd just forget something like that? Jesus, man, you gotta cool it. Yeah, you're right, man. I'm sorry. I'm just impatient sometimes. Hey, man, don't beat yourself about it. It's all good. Just keep on filming or else I'll cut your paycheck. Okay. Before I was so rudely interrupted, I was going to tell you about that idea I had after adding the ship designer. I'm going to change the whole chase gameplay. Before, it was just going up and down, dodging enemies here and there, and that was it. Now I'll make enemies that actually attack you. They're gonna be from that evil big bad company, and they are going to try to stop you progressing everywhere they can. I'll start with Jerry. Dre doesn't know anything other than the fact that he hates red squares with a burning passion, but at the moment he just looks at them menacingly. So I open Jerry's head like a micro trap door and I put a C-sharp script in there that taught him how to shoot. Combined with his hate for all things red and square, he's now committing war crimes. Although Jerry is very lonely, so I got him some friends he can be hunted by the UN with. I put Jerry and the gang on boats and made them hit my pirates instead. Jerry and his band of devious pals isn't enough to make a full game with. What a shocker, I know. So I opened a sprite and after a few hours I was back in Unity with more to show. First we have this guy on his cool little jet ski. Look, he doesn't even have any guns, he's so peaceful. I'm not quite sure what's dead there though. I'm sure it's fine. Also, 
brought to you by the Wright brothers, we have this guy hanging from a plane with an AK-47. I'm sure you can connect the dots on what he does. The last thing I needed to tie all this nice into the gameplay loop was a neat little customizable spawner I could use for any of my spawning needs. One thing I didn't mention is that I redesigned the UI. One of the most visible things was the distance meter, which now actually displayed how much you crossed in meters in distance before I was cheating a little bit and I used time instead. The actual counting part gave me an idea. So, you wanna spawn something? Well great, it's simple and easy, just plop anything you want to spawn into this list, from Jerry to a rock. It all works. In this other list, specify what, what distance you want to spawn it in, and lastly Boring. just- Boring! Oh Jesus Christ, will you shut up? What did I tell you? Do you really want to not get paid? I mean, it's for your own good, your viewer retention is gonna drop. <sighs> okay, okay, fair. Fair. You, you get away with it this time, okay? You're welcome, by the way. <sighs> After adding some enemies and playing with the spawner, one thing was apparent to me. The background is incredibly boring, so you know what, it does not make any sense, but there they are. I just put random islands in the background. I tried adding just clouds, but they were not enough. If you have any ideas on how I could make this better, please let me know, because I don't know if I'm liking this. Now, all that's left is to tie all this nicely with what I had already in the game. That means I just need to make a fun spawner for all the ships. You can already a hijack, which means I also have to balance it all, which means I need to add more health, probably. Pirates too. Um, but then I'll probably need some more challenging enemies too. Yeah, I still have a lot to do. Eh, I'll save it for future, Matt. Bye.